Welcome to Your Best Interviews. My name is Eric Smith. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. I know that there's a lot of places you can go to get information on this interview process. Uh, so I appreciate you spending it here with me. If this is helpful, please share with others. My goal is to help as many people as possible during this time, and you sharing can help me do that. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is following up what's appropriate. Um, so it all starts with uh, going back to my uh, previous advice around interviewing and wrapping up an interview. You always want to ask about what the next steps are. This does a few different things for you. It gives you an idea of kind of what you can expect, but more importantly, it, it gives you an idea of the timeline that you should be following um, and just helping you forecast different opportunities that you're pursuing. So uh, you should be casting a wide net, ideally interviewing with a couple different companies, but if you know what their timelines are, you can kind of push your decision based on what you really want um, to align uh, everyone's timeline with, with your decision timeline. So um, you always want to be asking what the timeline should be, what you should be expecting from a response from, from different companies. Um, but what tends to happen, and the reason I'm recording this, is a lot of companies, their process is, is not super clean, uh, or they might have a lot of hoops that they have to jump through before they can make an offer. So um, some of these things are, you know, reference checking, background screening. Uh, it could be that they're trying to, you know, compile all the notes from the different hiring managers. There's a lot of different things that go into it um, that could bump back your timeline. So if you know what your timeline is, if they tell you, you know, you should hear by the end of the week and you're approaching the end of the week, it's completely okay for you to reach out to a recruiter or hiring manager, whoever your main point of contact has been throughout the interview process, reach out. Um, but do so in a lighthearted way. You don't have to say like, hey, I was expecting to hear about this week. What, you know, where am I at? What's what's you know, what's the holdup? Nothing like that. Keep it super light. Um, usually I, I like to keep it upbeat in the in the sense of saying something along the lines of, you know, I'm really eager and um super, you know, really confident that, you know, I'm a great fit. Uh, I'm excited about the opportunity. Let me know if there's anything on my side that I can do to help ease the process as you're making your decision. I uh, hope you have a great rest of the, the week. Something along the lines, you're really not saying too much, but what you're doing is you're um, you're prompting them to give a response to you. So you're bumping up into their inbox and maybe maybe they're, you know, maybe they have all this stuff. They're just kind of delaying for whatever reason, but um, it gives them a reason to, to get back to you. And likely what's going to happen is they're either A, going to tell you that their timeline shifted and you should expect to hear back at a later date, but at least you've, you've, you've narrowed down when your expectation window should be for, for a response, or um, you're going to prompt them to, to, to turn you down. Maybe they were waiting on another candidate that they offered before you to accept or decline to, to figure out what to do with you. Um, and, and maybe it might prompt them to say, Hey, sorry, we went with another candidate, which if that happens, it's fine, right? It just, again, it gives you more clarity as you approach other roles. Um, but what you're really looking for here is a response, uh, a forecasting of what the timeline should be, um, bumps up in their inbox. And all of this just gives you knowledge, right? It gives you what the next steps are, gives you an idea of is that opportunity still alive for you or not? Um, and should you be angling with other opportunities that you're also chasing? So um, my advice is if, if you fall outside of your window that they tell you, it's completely fine to follow up, but do so in a lighthearted way. All you're trying to do is really prompt a response to gain more knowledge, to better understand um, where you are in that process, what your um, expected forecasted date of when you're going to hear back uh, on a decision so that you can align all your different opportunities and really make the best decision for you. Good luck.